Senator Thune. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Um, if I could just ask any of you to think of any way or provide an example of how $1.2 billion of customer funds could be transferred and disappear without any laws or regulations being violated. I mean, just a, uh, in other words, give us a hypothetical scenario of how that could happen without breaking any laws or existing regulations. Anybody want to take a stab at that? Senator, I think anything that any of us would do on that would potentially be misleading. It would certainly be speculative. Um, in my oral and written remarks, I laid out some places where I thought um, there were um, possibilities of where um, the clearance and settlement system could break down. Um, Senator Corzine, there are reports I have seen that indicate that you were in contact with Chairman Gensler and the CFTC regarding a proposed rule restricting brokers from trading with client money or customer funds in sovereign debt. The rule, which is now being called the MF Global Rule, was apparently delayed um, because of your opposition. The CFTC only approved it after MF Global had gone bankrupt. Why did you lobby against proposed changes to CFTC regulations that would have restricted futures or futures commission merchants from uh, investing customer funds and obligations of foreign governments? Um, Senator, to my recollection, I didn't speak with uh, Chairman Gensler about um, the foreign securities aspect, um, particularly on that conference call on July 20th. Um, to the best of my recollection, I was speaking as I uh, about the internal repurchase arrangements between uh, subsidiary and the FCM, as I spoke in to um, Senator uh, from North Dakota and, and others, um, and whether that would continue to be um, available uh, to um, FCMs at large. Or, or global organizations at large, but not with respect um, to my recollection, foreign securities never came up uh, in that discussion, and uh, the, the only time that foreign securities um, were available to be invested in FCMs is if you took deposits from a client in foreign currencies. Um, you had said, uh, Senator Corazine, during the House hearing that you didn't intend to break any regulations. Um, what did you mean by that? Um, uh, I'll say I tried to clarify that in my opening statement here this morning. Uh, I never gave any instructions to misuse customer funds. I never intended um, to give any instructions or authority uh, to use, misuse uh, customer funds. And as I've said at least once here, uh, I find it very hard to understand how anyone could misconstrue anything I said uh, would authorize the misuse of customer funds. From what you know now, can you uh, assure this committee that no regulations protecting consumer funds were violated in the days prior to the bankruptcy? Uh, Senator, um, with whatever the range of uh, estimates about um, the segregated funds uh, not reconciling, uh, I don't think I can give that assurance. There was a New York Times uh, story that indicated that some customer money may have been improperly transferred as early as October 21. Can you confirm that date? Uh, Senator, I, I, I'm, I'd be completely out on a limb okay. speculating. No idea. Um, and. I'd have to go back. I, I literally would have to go back through okay. and, thousands and of pages. If you of can't confirm the date, I assume then that you, you wouldn't be able to give us an idea about when um, MF Global began transferring funds out of the customer account. Uh, it would be speculative. I don't have the facts. Um, I do think that uh, the CME has testified that they did. 85 or 90 percent check against the Wednesday 
it's the 26th. Okay. Um, and I think you can, and they um, suggested at least in that testimony with reasonable um, testing of uh, bank accounts and flows that we were in excess. But I, I, I really I think that's a question that the CME should answer. Okay. All three of you have testified that, the best of your rec recollection, none of you gave any instructions to anyone at MF Global to transfer funds from segregated accounts, yet it happened. Prior to October of this year, whether to cover margin calls or for any other reason, had there been any other incidents of improper or unauthorized fund transfers, funds transfers at MF Global, or is this the first time any of you are aware of anything like this happening? Senator, from my uh, standpoint, if there had ever been anything like we found out on the evening of October 30th, or if there had been, wouldn't have had to rise to the level, um, the dimension on that evening, um, I think any of us would have been notified. If we hadn't, then um, uh, Senator from North Dakota would have been absolutely right. We clearly would not have had um, policies, procedures, and people in place. And I'm, I'm not aware of that. And we've had many audits uh, by external um, regulators and external auditors. Okay. Madam Chair, my time is up. Thank you.